Okay, uh, what we did today was we uh, hooked up uh, two meters to the uh, wind charge of the new one I just put up. You look a couple, three or four videos ago. And uh, what I did was, uh, this one right here is uh, set on amps. So what you have to do with the multimeter, which I didn't realize <laughs> until I started playing with it, um, I had to break into the positive line. And what you do is you take from the... Uh, common up here and that just goes straight to the common on the wind generator but now the positive wire for the amps and this will this will hold up to 10 amps before it blows the fuse I don't think the wind charger puts out that much but what you have to do is you have to take the positive wire from the wind charger which is this white wire right here and that runs down to the battery you gotta have a battery to test this and then this wire runs back up and goes to the uh, tester and uh, what that does is it's like an amp meter on a car you have to take the positive wire and you have to break it and put the amp meter that you're putting in between those wires so that's what I was doing today so now we're just waiting for some wind and according to the weather we're supposed to have some very heavy gusts uh, here in Louisiana uh, and it takes about eight miles an hour for this wind charger to even start up and you can see the batteries it's good battery, it's a marine battery, sitting at 12.98 volts, so I'm expecting that to go up dramatically once the wind charger starts working. Uh, I'm supposed to have some wind coming up here in the next, I don't know, a couple, two or three hours, and if it does, I will do another video, and we'll kind of check it out and see what it's doing up there. Okay, say goodnight, Mel. Goodnight.